what's happening everybody let me know if you can hear me okay it's shenanigans david that's what it is shenanigans all right i think dalton's saying he can hear me <clears throat> we got a lot of new books what loud and clear that wasn't me says leslie I'm gonna, I think he spelled tear wrong, but I could be wrong. Well, the first thing's first. Who's getting ready for the Masters of the Universe Revelation show? Who's getting ready for that? Uh, all right, I'm going to ba make a couple bags up here in anticipation of some claims. But you might have just saw it because I accidentally put it down there. We're going to start tonight with probably one of the most anticipated books of the week. It's going to be the number one book for the number one cartoon coming out, or series, I should say. And it is the prequel. So, you're going to want to get this read in before, before you see this series. We have two covers. They're both $3.99. And this would be cover A. This would be cover B. I did both because I want both. I'm going to read one. I'm going to store one. But I love this cover. So, let me know if you want both covers or if you want A or B as you're claiming them. Okay, so Tomas wants A. Ryan wants an A. Leslie wants both. So three ninety nine, issue number one of Master of the Universe, Revelations. I don't want to give this one away because there's a lot of cool stuff, but. I got to show you one of the all-time greats. You got Scare Glow. What's really cool about the artwork is you see the glow part of Scare Glow's arm, but his arm is really about that big in the comic. So they did a nice job with that. So Masters of the Universe, Revelation, issue number one, three ninety nine. either cover, cover A, cover B, get yours today, right now, right here. Leslie. 
let's keep it going. Hey, Reb, welcome in. Got to cross that one off. All right, next in the series, we've got issue number four of Geiger. So I better put these in order for you all. And it looks like the order may be... There is number one. Here is number two. All of these books are $3.99, by the way. So we have one, two... We've got three, and we've got number four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. All right, so I got John for, so we got two for A. Okay, I got John and Zach. Thank you very much. And Derek would also like an A. So that actually puts us as sold out for cover A. So we have cover... You can call it B, C, and D left of Geiger number four. All right, if I don't have Geiger for claim. So then, Reb, which would you prefer? And Brett, I've got you for a B. This is the C cover right here. So you got the glow man on the front. It's actually a really cool cover. Leslie, what cover would you like? Leslie would like a C. All right, got you, Reb. No, I had a C still for you there. No worries. All right, next up. 
in the line of comics, we have the Immortal Hulk issue number 48. And we have cover one, cover two of Immortal Hulk issue number 48. They are both three ninety nine. All right, Tomas, you want number two? Well, that sounds adorable. After Immortal Hulk, we have issue number 21 of X-Force. This is our only cover, and this is the second appearance of Manslaughter. So second appearance of Manslaughter in X-Force number 21. This is our only cover. beneath the water. Three ninety nine on the X Force twenty one. Let's make sure perfect, perfect. We're caught up. <clears throat> After X Force, we're going to go with the sensational Wonder Woman issue number five. You have your <clears throat> normal cover for three ninety nine, and then our cardstock variant for four ninety nine right there. So sensational Wonder Woman number five. Got you on that one, Leslie. <clears throat> X-Force 21. All right, Tomas, got you there. Reb would like a card stock. You got it. <clears throat> Fisher, yes, we do have the remainder, the issue number six of six of Fortnite this evening, yes.
All right, after Wonder Woman, we have the Infinite Destinies annual number two of The Amazing Spider-Man featuring Star. This is part four of part eight. It's four ninety nine. dollars It's the only cover that we have. We have not done the Fortnite yet, no. Got you, Tomas. Thank you. All right, next up we do have Batman issue number 110 on the ongoing series. Featuring Ghostmaker, we have the normal cover here for $4.99, or you can get the cardstock variant for $5.99. It's a beautiful cover. So 110 cover A, cover B. All right, got you, Jim. Try to get these back issues a little higher for everyone so you can see them all. Uh, the only thing that, that he's doing is he's battling uh, the Ghost Maker. And I think it's a fight for weapons in Gotham, I'm pretty sure. But there's nothing as far as like a major key issue to this one. It is a cool cover, isn't it, Reb? All right, next up, see if you all... We're going with this line or not, but I think it was, if 
feels like just a couple weeks ago we got the first book of this from DC Horror. It's The Conjuring, The Lover. You've got cover A, which is $3.99. And you have your cardstock variant right here for $4.99. So this is issue number two of five of The Conjuring, The Lover from DC Horror. Terror that won't wash off. We still have issue number one in stock, too, I believe, in case anybody is interested in picking up issue one and two. <clears throat> Leslie's going to grab the Conquering. Which one, Leslie? You want the cardstock variant or the normal cover? And again, we do have issue number one still in case anybody wants to pick them both up. All right, got you, Leslie. All right, you got it, Dave. I'll get you that issue number one also. All right, let's move on from these. I'm going to clear out a couple extra books here. So we have Batman 110, then The Conjuring. I'm taking out Wonder Woman, Cessation 05, and Masters of the Universe Revelation number one. <clears throat> Next up, I'm calling it the movie of the year. You got Suicide Squad issue number five. You have your normal cover for $3.99, John Cena. And then Suicide Squad five cardstock variant. It's really deceiving at first, but I'm pretty sure that's like a belly button piece. So Bloodsport, they actually have the Suicide Squad uh, Funko Pops coming out, and the Bloodsport looks super cool. Got you, Leslie. Now, we do have a key issue coming up right now. 
we have the Justice League number 64. This is introducing the United. So it's the first team appearance of the United. Normal cover, $4.99. Cardstock variant, $4.599. So again, first appearance of Team United. Or first team appearance of the United. You saying right here? Or are you saying right there? That's Owl Man. It's not Batman. Owl Man. Aquaman. All right, Derek, you want cover A? Thank you, thank you. All right, let's try something different. How about a totally different book, different genre? We've got Life is Strange Coming Home, issue number one by Titan. It's five ninety nine. I feel like this is a Leslie and Reb book for sure. It is PG. So Life is Strange, part one. I feel like others could definitely get into this. And we only have four of these. You got it, Reb. I got you for one. Thank you. I don't know if it's based off a video game, but this is in the back. So it looks like it's based off a hardcover for sure. Got you, Leslie. Thank you. And Jim, thank you very much. So there are a thousand covers of this next book, and we have four of those thousand. We have cover one, three, four, and seven. Brand new series. It's going to be worth the read. You've got Extreme Carnage Alpha, part one of eight. Every cover is just four ninety nine. So you have, we'll just say cover one. I mean, if we're going to go real, this is cover three. This is cover four, and this is cover seven. So one, three, four, or seven of Extreme Carnage Alpha, number one of eight. 
What's it about, you ask? I'm glad you asked. This book is basically relooking at <clears throat> the Life Foundation symbiotes in Carnage. So it, it reinvents the Life Foundation. Woo, look at that. Come on now. Scariest thing ever. A mutated shark. Let's go. All right, so I got Tomas for three and seven. I've got Dalton for cover three. And Austin for one and seven. Ooh. Austin, you got our last number seven. Seven's gone. <clears throat> so we just have one, three, and four available still for your pickings. What's next? What's next? Let's get to another key. Almost like an action figure card. It's pretty cool. Oh, Dave, no, I missed it. I'm sorry. I'll get you, though. We got it right here still. So I'll get you the regular cover, Dave. Thanks for bringing that back up. Next up is the finale of the Zero Point Batman Fortnite crossover. You have your normal cover right here for $4.99. You have the cardstock variant, which I think is probably one of the coolest cardstock variants they've done yet, for $5.99. All right, so Derek, you want cover A? Uh, James, you can claim this one, or did you want this anti? Because you've got two of them with anti on it. This is one, and this is four. So one or four. Jim, which Fortnite do you prefer, sir? And you guys can get as many of these Fortnites as you want, by the way. You want both? You got it, James? Fisher, you want to cover A? You got it. Yep, got you, James. Jim, you want one of each? You got it. Heck, you need one to play with the code and unlock, and then you need one just to keep. Grab two, grab three, grab four, whatever. Hmm? All right, Austin, you want cover three also of Carnage? Uh, Jim Cleland said he would take two of each, and then one is Fisher if you don't have Fisher yet. No, I don't. And that's Austin. Is that the first name that says Fisher? That yep. Sense. Fisher Merck's Bauer. Uh, Fisher, I don't know if we'll get more of number one or not. F-I-S-H-E-R. Come and get them. Come and get them. That's not even half of them. We made sure we are fully stocked. So buy whatever you want. All right, so we've got, we're going to move Batman and Conjuring out, Batman 110. 
and Conjuring, issue number two. We weren't messing around this time, David. We didn't have enough before. Now we have too many. <laughs> Just so you guys understand what I'm saying, grab as many as you want. <laughs> That's just one stack. So what I showed you before literally was not even a fourth. This is one stack. We bought plenty. Wowzers. Fortnite fans unite. Okay, give me one more of each. You got it. That's Derek. All yours, Derek. That's right. I bought every single copy of Fortnite, so every comic shop has to go through me also. No, I'm pretty sure there's people that did a lot more than that. All right, next up, we've got issue number six of Star Wars Adventures. Now, we only have two of these, and this is a key issue because this is the first appearance of Mari San Jeka. I believe I said that right. First appearance of Mari San Jeka. Not saying this will go there, but I don't know if you've seen any of these Dark Horse comics that has first appearance of Star Wars characters. But if the characters turn out to be big players in the show or movie, these comics go for 150 plus. Not saying this will. I'm just letting you know this is a first appearance. And I only have two of them. And if we're missing any comments, just let us know. We'll make sure you get the book you want. Two. Uno. Next up in the lineup is Magic the Gathering, issue number four. Super cool cover, number one. Who knows, it could be a super cool cover. Number two, the Hidden Plane Walkers variant. Number three, you just have your red sketch cover. And number four. So one, two, three, and four of Magic the Gathering issue number four. Uh, Kevin, $3.99 on Star Wars. $3.99. All right, Kevin, thank you very much.
All right, next we're going back to DC and we have Wonder Girl issue number two. Both comics are cardstock variants and both comics are only $4.99 as you can see. Wonder Girl number two. Which cover would you like, Leslie? You got it. And after Wonder Girl, we've got Crush and Lobo issue two of eight. You have your normal cover for $3.99. And then the cardstock variant for $4.99. That beautiful planet or moon. Tiny little crush. Or Lobo, I mean. It's Larry's. Crush and Lobo issue two. After Crush and Lobo 2, we've got the Deep Blue on, Deep Beyond number 6. So I believe this is the finale of this book. You have three different covers. They're all $3.99. You have cover A, cover B, and cover C of the Deep Beyond number 6. Over though. Sweet. do a little intermission see if anybody's possibly interested in an autographed book we have the goon it's by eric powell and it is autographed so it's signed and re-sketched as you can see there re-sketched huh So it's $20 on this book. The goon number one.
All right, here's a fun one. It is the only cover we do have, I believe. Oh, I do have one. Okay, I have two covers, but I only have one cover of two, it looks like. It's called Black's Myth. It's for mature audiences. Don't know what's going on there, but that's already gross. I'm pretty sure I can tell you, though, that it has werewolves in it. There it is. So Blacksmith's number one. It's for mature audiences. Three ninety nine. Either cover. <clears throat> I feel like Jim Cleland would really enjoy this one. And so would Leslie for sure. Let's clear some out here. All right, one more here. It's a little different. Again, it's going to involve werewolves, and I've got four different covers. It's a Rivers of London story called Monday Monday. And that was cover number four. So let's go back. All right, you want number two, Jim? I got you. Thank you. So there's cover A, cover B, cover C, and then this was cover D. And there's your reader's guide. So it looks like these were novels prior to, and now they're going comic form. Popo. Monday, Monday, four different covers. They're all just three ninety nine, and I only have two of each cover of these. By the way. Uh, yes, Tomas, it is number one. Sorry if I didn't mention that. This is the number one book of Monday, Monday. So you can start the series now and see where it takes you. Yeah, Mike, I can get you a zero point. Do you want the cardstock variant for a buck more, or do you want the regular version? Okay, so Tomas, that one right there, you got it. And then Tomas, stay with us, because now we've got another key issue. It's Spider-Man, well, the Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 70. <clears throat> 
So we've got the first, it should be, this is what they're proclaiming, but they're saying that this would be the first appearance of the new Sinister Six led by Doc Ock, and then a first appearance of the new Sinister Six, or maybe it's either or, uh, of Vulture. And there's the Doc Ock. Uh, no, Nick, I can get you that still. Jim wants a Monday, Monday, number two. Nick, do you want one of each? One to play, one to save? Spider-Man cover and Doc Ock cover. Okay, and Austin wants Green Goblin. Uh, Green Goblin is right here. Like, it's a ton of them. Is it something he can leave? This is Mike and Nick. I mean, yeah, if he could bring them, he could either bring them back or if he could leave them with us, he could give me numbers and stuff and I can go through them. So. All right, so Spider Man, Petrich, P E I T C H, and Tomas, you want the Goblin cover also? You got it. That would be our last one. So congrats. All right, next up we have Carmen issue number five. You know the song and dance on this one. Misguided Angel comes back to save this gal or help her. That's an interesting concept for an outfit right there. John Varenkamp, you got it. So, Nick, you got the regular cover right here, and then this is the cardstock variant. And the cardstock variant is $5.99, regular cover is $4.99. Okay. And like I said earlier, you can buy as many as you want. All right, next one. Brand new book. Memo. Mamo. However you want to say it. This one is... Nick. He's getting one of each. This is about a young gal that needs to manage magical relationships between her town folks and the denizens of fairies for the sake of her town's survival. So again... It's a young gal that needs to balance her magical powers between her town folks and the fairies 
to save her town. Reb and Leslie for sure. Carrie Schilling, I feel like you'd like this one. Boombox number one. I got you, Reb. Thank you. All right, how many got the first book? Number two is finally out. We have The Nice House on the Lake, issue number two. You have by DC Black Label. Regular cover for $3.99. Cardstock variant for $4.99. Beautiful cover. Looks like a beautiful house. All right, let's look at these. So I got John, Derek, Cody, all for ones. Okay. That's awesome, Dave. <laughs> okay, so, so far I've got Kevin for a cover two. And then we'll kind of go through these for you guys later. But I do have Derek, John, Cody, and Brett. Jane, Cody, Brett. Dave, John, Cody, Brett. Leslie. You know what you'd say, Tomas. He's not really naked. You don't see anything. Kevin, you want both covers? I think you're going to put his away. Which Cody? Cody, uh, the East Fold. Okay, so we should be caught up for the most part. Because Leslie got this cover, and then Kevin said he'd take both. Uh, uh. Can you guys see those comments when I do that? It's pretty cool. I just wanted to highlight this one right here. <laughs> uh. We'll highlight Dave's comment right there. That's great. And then we'll do that one. Okay, so Derek, you want one of each, which means I think we owe Derek that one. Okay, we should be caught up with everybody now. Thank you much. G.I. Joe fans, we got the G.I. Joe yearbook. It's IDW, it's issue number two, it's $5.99. So it's a big, thick, 
for five ninety nine GI Joe yearbook. Looks like the old school comics. Cobra! Ooh, got some sketches in the back. Pretty cool. Five ninety nine. Next up, your favorite bug in the world. We got Locust issue number two. Three ninety nine Locust issue number two. In a city where bugs take over. Key issue. I need like a soundboard. Key issue. We've got Hellions issue 13. These are $3.99 a piece. And this is the first appearance of the Zeta team. It's a brutal mercenary squad. And then it's also the first appearance of the AI self replicating mutant. So there you go. We have the first appearance of of a mercenary squad and the first appearance of an AI mutating. Hellions 13, 399. Or is it Hellions? When did Mr. Sinister turn into, uh, what's his name? Why can't I ever think of his name? Yeah, right, Cody? That'd be awesome. Old Man Star-Lord. So Hellions, number 13. Next up, we got another number one. From the WWE, we have the number one issue of New Day. The Power of Positivity. It's by Boom Studios. They're $7.99. So $7.99, I've got two different covers. Got them pancakes. Watch now out of all of them, this is the comic that ends up being worth like five hundred dollars. Bootios. No, not Vendetta. He's a rapper. Wow, I can't think of his name. It... Oh it's who he looks like right there. What is his name? It's he's a white rapper. Oh, why can't I think of it?
Oh, I just had it in my head too. Yes, Post Malone. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Sinister is Post Malone. Oh. Just couldn't get it out. Yeah, Matt's right there with me. He gets it. <laughs> New Day, issue number one. The power of positivity for $7.99. Maybe we can get Post Malone on the show. That'd be hilarious. Dressed up like Mr. Sinister. You're laughing because you see it and you know it. All right, next up, we've got Hatchet, issue number one, for $4.99. It's the unstoppable horror of Hatchet. American Mythology Productions. Oh, man, that guy is not in a good spot right now. Not going to lie. Hatchet number one for four ninety nine. It's for mature audiences only. All right, Jim, you got it. You get a hatchet. Jesse, you missed a ton. Jim. Also got that bad boy right there. Boom. How about Earth's Mightiest Heroes Avengers? Issue number 46. Looks like we got Blade on the front here. Oh, that's right. Okay, so this book is like an introduction into the World War She-Hulk. I believe this is like leading into this series right here. Yeah, Jesse, there's a ton that we have had. We had a ton of books tonight. So Avengers 46... That leads into the tie-in of World War She-Hulk. Who's going to see Black Widow Thursday night? We'll sing. We'll all sing you Happy Birthday next week, Jesse. How about that? I'll get my kazoo out so we can get into uh, Auto Tone. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't think that was. All right, next up, another number one issue and another key issue. Oops, almost did that one. We've got 
X-Men issue number one. Now, this is the first appearance of the X-Men of Krakos, and it's Laura Kinney as Wolverine. Actually, let me put these in order for you guys, because there's like five covers you can choose from. Oh, my gosh. So different. Oh, my gosh. All right, we're just going to do it this way. There's cover one. It's the wraparound cover, okay? So cover one. You have cover two, which is the card cover. Cover three, non-wraparound. Cover four, again, non-wraparound. And then there is cover five. Again, Black Widow this week. So one, two, three, four, and five of X-Men number one. Again, you get introduced to the X-Men and Laura Kinney as Wolverine. All right, so Tomas, you want cover one. Matt, what cover would you like? Leslie wants cover five. Number one for Matt. Got you, Matt. Now remember, new new issues this evening that you may have missed, though, would be the issue number six of Batman Zero Point Fortnite and Masters of the Universe Revelation issue number one. We have two covers of each of those. There we go. We got another brand new book here. Ordinary Gods. Now this is a key issue because this is number one. And I didn't write this one down, so I don't remember off the top of my head, but I know that it's about gods. <laughs> Obviously. These copies are by Image, and they're $3.99 a piece. All right, you got it, Matt. Thank you. Thanks for the ideas there, Jesse. Appreciate that. Next up, we've got Noctera issue number five. We're closing out that series very soon. Noctera issue five. And I've got cover one and cover two available. And they are both $3.99. No glow-in-the-dark variants for this one this time. Ooh, look at that bad boy. There's your Noctera. Yeah, Leslie, I can get you that one for sure. Boom. Reb dropping knowledge. Next up after Nakatera. I know a ton of books this evening. You've got the Justice League Infinity issue number one. Let 
the final hoorah. This actually looks like it could be more of a kid's book. Would you prefer the normal cover to Leslie, or would you like the cardstock variant for four ninety nine, for only one dollar more? Which would you prefer? Yes, ma'am. There it is. After Justice League, Jenny Zero number three. This was the one that had the uh, cover that they made us send back or not do. But basically, Jenny Zero is, I believe, a raging alcoholic who has to save the universe. Next up, we have The Walking Dead, issue 18, Deluxe. $3.99 for each cover. And I've got them in the wrong order. One, two, and three. Issue 18 of the WD Deluxe. There's a big long note at the end there. Woof -da. Someone just got messed up. All right, just a couple books left here. We've got Power Rangers, issue number eight. By Boom Studios for $3.99. So Power Rangers, issue eight. This is our only cover to this book. We have Captain America, issue 13, variant edition. $3.99 for the Captain America book. Red Skull looks offended. So cap. Uh, David, no Transformer books this evening, no. All right, next up is another key issue. We've got Star Wars Bounty Hunters 14. We got two variants and a normal cover, but the reason this is going to be your key issue is because it is the first appearance of Death Stick. So first appearance of Death Stick, and these books are all $3.99. You have cover one, cover two, and cover three with Yoda. Black Panther number one coming out soon. So 
So first appearance, well, it's the first full appearance of Death Stick in this book. Let's go a little different here before we finish off with the comics. We've got a thick cover. It's $15.99. It's the King in Black Atlantis Attacks. Yeah. Those we already did. I just got these. Mm -hmm. So Atlantis Attacks. Hardcover. Trade paperback, I guess. For $15.99. All right, then I have one last key, well, one last key issue that I can explain, I should say. <clears throat> so we've got Batman Secret Files, and what we have here is you have the Signal versus the White Market, a deadly source of trafficked weapons into Gotham. So it's Batman Secret Files, the Signal, issue number one. Cardstock variant. For five ninety nine, regular cover for four ninety nine. All right, Tomas, you want the cardstock variant, good sir. <clears throat> Nobody wants trafficked weapons. That may help. All right. Last of the evening. Rick Grimes. This is like a Walking Dead crossover or something. Ah. Ah.
All right, last book. It's the only book available here. We've got Skybound, issue number one, Beyond the Walking Dead, Rick Grimes, 2000. It's four ninety nine. All right, Jim, I'll get you for the cardstock variant. This is wild, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. The governor, I'm guessing. Jim Cleland. All right, so Skybound X, issue number one, only one. And then just as a quick recap tonight, we had Masters of the Universe Revelation, issue number one. This is the prequel to the Kevin Smith series that will be coming out here towards the end of the month. So this is something you'd want to get and read prior to. So you're all caught up. We got two different issues. Each are only $3.99. Jim Cleland getting that Rick Grime book. And then the last of the zero points, two different covers there. We had $4.99, $5.99 for the cardstock variant. Those were the two big ones of the week. And that's going to do it for this evening, folks. We did have a ton of books. We do appreciate the business as always. Hope you all have a great night. And maybe we'll see you here shortly for the Funko sale as we have a ton of new and exciting Funkos also. If you guys decide you want to claim any books afterwards, let us know. If you need them shipped, just PM us. Let us know. We will get the invoice out to you right away. If for any reason you can't pick up the books within the next, say, three to four business days, just PM us. Let us know. So then that way we know what to do with them so that we don't have a lot of items here collecting or they go back on the shelf. Other than that, again, I hope you guys have a great night. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, we'll see you next week.